You know the consequences of lying, don't you? I understand. That's good. Now for the harder questions. Have you ever worked for any of the Appster's rival corporations? Never. I never worked for any of them. Okay. Have you ever been involved in corporate espionage? I'm not a spy or anything. I just want to work here. Is there anything else we need to know about you? I'm not really sure if this is important. I lost my I lost most of my memories a few years ago. A brain tumor. It's gone now. An experimental procedure saved me. I have my sister to thank for that. I'm grateful for my second life. Hmm. That explains the weird readings. But the graph says that you're telling the truth. I wouldn't have believed it otherwise. Things must be hard for you. I can't imagine living as a blank slate. I don't know. I don't know you, but I'm pr proud of you. I hope things work out for you. Unfortunately, I don't have to say. I don't have a say in this. Only the algorithm does. Now that the interview is over, we can talk off record. So, why do you want to work here anyway? Are you passionate about our games? I guess it's because I keep, I keep dreaming about it. You've been dreaming about working here? Not exactly. I've been dreaming about the games themselves. I know it's weird. What? That's not weird at all. Really? Does it happen to you too? No, I was being sarcastic. I know it's hard to tell sometimes. Oh. Anyway, we'll send you an email. We'll have to wait for the algorithm to decide. Just so you know, I'm rooting for you. Why? Because you look like you need this job. Hey brother, what's up? Just got home from the interview. How'd it go? Hell, say, brought out a neurograph. Jeez, a lie detector? Yeah, but way worse. A little overkill for a game dev company, don't you think? I guess they can never be too, be too safe, but it was tense. I'm guessing you flopped the interview. I ended up I ended up telling them about you. Oh yeah? Told them about how much citrus saved me from my brain tumor. It was Dr. Ro Schistein, Ro Schistein that did all the work. Not me. You didn't need to tell you didn't need to tell them that. They don't care about that stuff. I didn't seem to mind. You know, I think it actually helped. Yeah, how so? The interviewer said she was rooting for me. That's great news. Tell you what, as soon as I get the chance, I'll buy you some cake. I gotta run. Talk to you soon, brother. Don't forget your medicine, too. Take care, please. You're the only family I have. Laters. Huh, that's weird. I thought that the algorithm in all results, this would come sooner. At least that day was different. My life, or at least what I remember from it, could not have been more predictable. Every morning, I woke up with the same alarm. I dressed and thought and Though the outfit was not usually the same, the motions were. I moved automatically through my morning routine and followed it with a, with a job I didn't care for. 
All right, participate in mutual link research for the Royal Schirstein Institute, the people that saved my life. The research isn't as exciting as it sounds. But the, by the end of the day, I was too tired to do anything more than to fall into the same rust as every other night. I check the same websites and look at the same distressing news that plague the world every day. I have no one but my sister to talk to. Like most people, I'm alone. There's one, there's one thing different about me though. I've been having strange dreams. I keep dreaming about Apsher's weird pixel games. Figured it was a sign. It's why I wanted to work there. Or maybe it was just looking out, looking for an out. Anything to get me out of this rut. I better get some sleep. Am I dreaming? Not this again. I can't understand it. Who are you? What are you? Another bad dream. I should try sleeping again. I might hear from Apso tomorrow. Took their darn time. Hope this email finds you. Hope this email finds you well. I hope this is good news. Oh, it's you. Hi, we were supposed to discuss my application results. First of all, we apologize for the, for the delay. Yeah, took a while. The algorithm bugged out trying to process your application. That doesn't usually happen. Her algorithm is reliable. So what happens now? Company policy doesn't allow us to hire someone without the algorithm's approval. I suppose we could work out an arrangement. Would you be okay with staying as an intern for now? Until when? At least until the algorithm is back in line. And the timetable for that would be... Everyone we have left are on it. I'm guessing two weeks. We'll pay you. We'll, we'll pay you per per dime. Yes. You don't even know how much we'll pay. I told you. I really want to work here. So why the rush? You took three months. Why not wait a couple more? We've lost more than half of our staff the past few weeks. Did they die? What? No. Why would you think that? They didn't want to work here anymore. Ah, so that's why you needed me to start here ASAP. Yes. On, the other, on any other day, we wouldn't be doing this. But we need people right now. Why did they quit? Some nonsense about seeing things in the games. I wish they had just been more honest with me. Yeah, let me know what I can do to help. You don't have to do that. The algorithm s still has the final say. I'm just trying to be nice. She's promised that you'll always be honest with me. I've had enough disappointments. I promise. You won't be needing that neurograph for me. Alright, now it's time to introduce you to the man we work for. What's this about? That's our new intern, sir. Do I look like I care, Mia? Where is everyone? Most of them quit, sir. The others are working on the algorithm fix. It's nice to meet you, sir. Mia, get him out of here. And get on a call with your boyfriend. Tell him I want to see him back working on our games or else. I'm sorry, I think they're really gone. I mean, I get why he's in a foul mood, but wow. I'm sorry about that. He's not usually like that. 
I think it's best you go home for now. Your first day starts tomorrow. Sir? Sir? Are you alright? What? Oh, sorry. I guess I'm a little off today. I'm just not together. Would you like me... Would you like to buy a cake? You might... Might make you feel better. No, sorry. My sister really buys me cake. What's the point of coming to a cake shop if you're not gonna get cake? I don't know. I don't know why I'm here. You look like you've had a bad day. Have some cake. On the house. Alright. Thank you. Uh... Yeah! Call me Kara. Kara... Jenter. It's nice to meet you. I wasn't such a bad day. Thank you, Kara. She was funny. She gave me that strawberry cake and said I'd like to... I'd like it... very much. It was fun. But now I'm back here. Alone. I long for days when there's noise in the street. It's almost always really quiet. The only sound to keep me company is an electric hum. It could be coming from any one of my appliances. I would have noticed it if I had if it hadn't been so quiet. I'm also certain that I've always heard this sound because nothing possibly could have changed. Nothing ever changes. This again. What is this? I'm not chosen. What does this mean? What does that all mean? Why the heck is it so hot today? I don't think I don't think I can. Huh? Doc? Doctor? You caused quite a commotion passing out on the bus stop like that. How are you? How long was I out? Not sure. It was fortunate those college girls found you. Please be more, please be more careful. What time is it? It's noon. I missed my first day at work. I'm sure they will. Be, I'm sure they'll understand. Doc, is there anything wrong with me? Well, the test didn't show anything peculiar. Have you been taking your medicine? I have. Why did I pass out? No signs of the old tumor, so it's not that. Listen, I've done quite a bit of test on you, and I was wondering. Would you mind participating in my research again, for old time's sake? Is it for the trinemesis, the big drone people get the pilot with their minds? Ah, you remember, yes. Still going on about that, huh? Sure, Doc. I think for you, anything for you. I owe you my life after all. Is that all? Maybe the psionic link needs calibrating. That's as far as I can make it go, Doc. Not too different from the last time. I see. It's all right. We'll try again in another time. Huh? I could have sworn the cake shop was here. I must have taken a wrong turn. Kara? Hey, it's you. What are you doing here? Well, I was hoping to get some more of your cake, but I guess I got lost. Really? Oh, you're sweet. Cake shop's closed for today, but you can. Come with me if you'd like. Where? It's a bit far, just a spot that I used to visit when I needed to think. You know what? That's exactly what I need right now. We're here. So, what do you think? Kara, I love the view. Yay. I wish I'd known about this place before. I feel so peaceful. So, what did you want to think about? Well, you know, just some stuff. And I guess I really just wanted to see this again. It's been a while since I've been here. 
Now that I now that now I want to take it all in so I can recreate this view. You're a painter, Kara. Something like that. I make digital art, actually. Huh? You know, I think you should try getting a job at Appster. I heard they have job openings. You just want to see me around the office. Ha, I kid, I kid. What's it like to work there? Have you made any female friends? Give me specifics, I need more information. Oh, you want to work here? Well, I can't really say because I haven't started yet. But it looks pretty hectic. I think they've been panicking because of something about the games. On top of that, the dev is a little mean-spirited. But I like it there. I haven't made any female friends yet, though. But I'm sure you'll get along with the women there. Oh, I don't think I'll ever have friends again. I think it's possible that I'll be alone forever. Don't say that. I'm sure you'll make new friends. And if you ever feel alone, give your family a call. I don't have a family. I've never even met my mom. Oh, I'm sorry. That was wrong of me to... Hey, it's okay. It was an honest mistake. How about you? What's your story? I still have a family. My sister, her parents, and my other sister are already passed. They were murdered by some green-haired freak. As for friends, well, let's just say I feel alone sometimes, too. You shouldn't. You're not alone, and so am I. I promise I'll be there for you, if you want me to. Thank you, Kara. I'm here too. The part about passing on the side today is one of my favorite days. I can't wait to see her again. This again. Doctor? You want me to pilot the Tri-Nemesis? I can't. I can't help you with your research, Doc. I'm sorry. Not those weird dreams again. What is going on? 